thank you for your help. They caught me off guard. Who are you? I am Moire, the high priest of this temple. I oversee the sanctuary just up ahead. Where's Gaudius? I am afraid that it's too late. The moon door has already been opened. And Cress, the moon kingdom, will soon be reawakened. But what will happen then? The moon kingdom Cress gathers up the power of dreaming and gives form to Phantomile. In other words, it's the land where all things are created. Gaudius is trying to turn dreams into nightmares and unleash evil upon the world. There must be a way. It's not over yet. We can't just give up. Even if the Moon Kingdom has appeared, we have to stop Gaudius. Hmm. All right. I'll let you two give it a try. Go into the sanctuary. Right! The solar eclipse gives the enemy power. You must attack them when there is light. If we have to attack the enemy when there's light, that would also mean that they're more dangerous when it's dark, right? Alright, let's go! Alrighty, let's go. Just like he said. Alright, this level is kind of annoying because it can shift between night and day, and the level changes with that. Like, you can see the moves are now invincible when it's dark out. Um, and you'll notice other differences as we go throughout the level, but yeah, it's just overall very annoying. And I believe even enemies that you're holding on to will change. Um, if you're holding on, well, into their dark form. And also these little platforms will appear only at night. Clock. Okay, that was annoying. And you die. I believe this is where we're supposed to go first. I don't really know. Alright, yeah, it is. Go on here again. Come back. And in the door. Yeah, these guys with gold armor actually take two hits to knock off their armor, which is really annoying. In all honesty. Come on. Daytime, roll back around, please. Thank you. Actually, that's where you're supposed to go, so let's save that for later. Okay, no, it's not. That's the way you're supposed to go first. Works for me. God dang it, it's gonna turn night. Come on. See, these guys you can't pick up either, and they look really ugly. They look like floating square plates or something like that. Whatever, let's just go in here. And move on. This section is actually easier at night, so I'd recommend actually waiting. 
because you can use these platforms and it makes it a lot easier. Oh, that was close. Good thing I landed on that on my way down. Wow. I am stupid. Come on. Okay, this is by far, I think this is where it is. No, this isn't it yet. Yeah, it is. This is by far the most annoying part, I think. Where these things are flying at you. Actually, I can just do this. Yeah, the purple ones follow you, which are really annoying. Get away from me! Die. Yeah, just knock the armor off the little one. Because then it'll respawn as a blue, uh, unarmored one. So you can just kill the big one. Unless you want to just skip killing them entirely, which is totally an option. Um... I believe this is an optional thing. I could be wrong, though. Dang it! There we go. Ooh, yay, health. And lots of it. Come on! Oh, god dang it. Alright, let's take you. Go up here. Dodge your bombs. But, anyway, moving on. I think we're almost done with this level. Wait, yeah we are. Once you've saved all the villagers, yeah, that's pretty much your cue that you're almost done. Alright, actually, having this guy that... Oh, I wasted him. Oh, that sucks. God dang it. Yeah, this is the part that gets really annoying. Can I just break you open, please? Yeah, the fact that these things fly at you is just really annoying. Oh, yay. Oh, you suck. Got it. Yay. First time I did this, I couldn't figure out what to do. And it took me, what, like, forever just to figure out that you're supposed to get them from the background. Go away. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you gotta actually turn the switch off. And I gotta wait for day or night time. Alright, once the platforms actually solidify... Hits the switch. I really think we're almost done. I think when we exit this room... Oh yeah, I remember this part now. Alright, don't go up... We can't go up here yet, so we need to get an enemy from out here. This part's actually really pointless. They just ta kind of tacked this last part of the level on. Oh yeah, you gotta hit all three switches for the cage to unlock so you can take that enemy and use him to double jump up to where the boss door is. So we gotta go down here, go down here, screw you. Boom, boom, boom. Or all four switches, rather. And then grab him. Ah, <laughs> giddy. Uh, then use him to double jump up here. And I believe this is the boss door. And I didn't hit the clock. There we go. Oh, and there's still more level. It's all good. Oh yeah, the boss is at the top of this tower. I remember now. This is another really cool boss, but it just takes way too long to fight. Because it's one of those bosses where we have to wait for it to actually... Um, there's a whole phase... It has two phases, basically, and it just alternates between the two. But one of the phases, you can't hurt it at all in that phase. So it kind of takes a long time. 